Let's get it. So 49. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Legacy Loading. This is episode 40. Monumental. 40 of them. Episode 40. Goddamn. That's Speak a full work week. Close. This is uh Russ Swell is back for part two. What up, what up? It's been a it's been a minute. You were like episode fucking like three or four. For real? Yeah. Oh shit. Right? God, Elliot? Dude. It was like three or four? Episode Single digits, I feel. Yeah, like. you were in the single digits. Seven. You were Episode seven. Episode seven. Seven. Oh, seven. Damn. Damn. Yeah, you have a like once I did y'all's podcast, I started watching like everyone yeah, else yeah. come on. I was like, holy shit, that's not nah, dude. It's just, the be- the beginning of Legacy Loading was crazy. Yeah. Uh, obviously we've uh we've ran through a lot of guests, so it's kinda Limited Hard, but now. Yeah. We're still pumping them out every Saturday. Still going. But thank you for coming back. Yeah. For really sure. appreciate it. Yeah. And now we got to the right of him, Mr. Aaron Rivera. Hello. This is my roommate. We live together. Yep. The the fourth roommate who was in the old house. Which two left. Two left now. Two yeah. left standing. So this is our technically our third house together. Yeah. You guys know what happened to the old house. Yeah. We got the, the flood, flood and everything. But uh <laughs> yep. we're still here. We're making it happen. <laughs> we're still, still together. We're holding still on. Still roommates. But uh, yeah, so Aaron is a part-time nurse, part-time shooter, full-time nurse. Full-time nurse, part-time creative media for GBT, and I'm pursuing aesthetics, and I'm also in grad school for my nurse practitioner. I do. So, bro got bro got stats. <laughs> the stats. The I was gonna tools. I was gonna mention something, but I didn't know if it would get you in trouble at work. So I was like, what? What is it? We can like, cut it out. We can cut it out. Oh, like this past one day or whatever, or whatever day that was? Which one? What are you at work out a meeting? Oh, oh, no, my manager knew about that. Oh, okay. okay. I was literally sitting next to my manager. <laughs> okay. okay. Bro, so you were in scrubs in your story at the meeting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I was supposed to be in a, this marketing meeting for our, our um, GPT's next drop, which is next Saturday. And I, obviously I had to work. I couldn't be in the actual meeting. So I was on a FaceTime call with them for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting in my manager's room. I had two patients and I was like, I was like, can you watch my pages quick? I would like talk, put the phone down, run in, make sure it was okay. Yeah. Like, my manager's like, that's fine. As long as you're working. As long as everyone's in good hands. Everyone's right? in good hands. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, damn, bro. Someone over there is like, needs <laughs> help. And then he's over here. He's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, should, we, we get black, lunch breaks. Black. I use my lunch break and my uh, mandatory 15 minute break for that meeting. So, dude, that's good. great. We're no, I, dude, hats off to you. Like, I don't know how you balance being a nurse and doing everything else you do on the side. It's, it's yeah. a lot. Not going to lie. It, it was really, really hard at first. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because I, when I first moved here, I didn't even want to pursue fitness. I, I saw, I've been watching Russ for a while, and I saw he was building Corrupted, and I, I was watching all the videos till it actually like yeah. came to be, and then I moved here the week of opening. Yeah. Fucking crazy. That's, it is crazy. Yeah, that's insane. So this is a full circle moment right here. Yeah. And I'll explain. So I'm sure I, I did mention this in like the early pod with, with Russ and Duhan. Uh, when I first came down here, I reached out to Duhan. And I was like, yo, I'm from New York. I'm a photographer. I'm in town. Like, I would love to come check out the gym, get mm-hmm. some photos if you don't mind. Like, like, I won't bother you. And he was like, yeah, pull up, pull up. Like, and that's when I showed up. I met Russ. I met Duhan. And Aaron just happened to be working out there. This, I, was, this was I was just chilling. Complete strangers. He was just a guy <laughs> working out. And um, we were talking. He was like, what do you do? I'm like, oh, photographer. I'm from New York. And I was like, yeah, I got to shoot these two guys at Alphalete. Two guys, Harry and Dorian. Like, it's, it's fucking <laughs> Which, insane. And, and then, so, I so Joe's wearing this yellow hoodie. I'm like, oh, where are you from? New York, like he said. Mm-hmm. And then he told me shooting Harry and Dorian, which happened to be my roommate. He was already living with Harry and Dorian. Yeah. And they told me someone was coming down to do a shoot with them. And I didn't know it was this guy at Corrupted. Yeah. And I was like, wait, that's you. Bro, that is that is like an insane, just fucking full and circle it because of your gym. Yeah, that's and, fucking, that's crazy. Yeah, like, your gym brought us together. And he didn't and just, even live there. He didn't live at, he was just visiting Houston. And yeah, 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 after yeah. that meeting we had or like that interaction, he decided to move down here and mm-hmm. we ended up all living together. Yeah. In a it, house. It's yeah. insane because there's a lot of people that are around the gym. Like that's kind of like yeah. their story. Like they moved down and like they just kind of interacted. Also, um, I always like take time out for like photographers or any type of people to like have opportunity to come shoot. Because mm-hmm. you never know who you're going to like. You yeah. never know like someone's like, uh, like work ethic, right? Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. like for you, you came through. That was like a do home thing, but like also too, like there was like this kid. Um, I went to a different gym, and he's like, "Hey, is it cool if I shoot you?" I always yeah. say like, "Yeah, go for it," because like I hope I know you're building your portfolio. Yeah. You never know and what type of door it's not like interrupting your workout. Yeah, yeah it's not you just shoot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's just that's that's fucking crazy. I think like 
now I think I, I'm a good example of that because now it's like you probably give more people a chance now just because you know like for sure at, at one yeah. at one point Joe was literally just a stranger yeah who was like yo can I get some photos and now you built a name I'm doing yourself. my thing you know yeah so, in Houston that's crazy bro that's such a fucking full circle moment like meeting Aaron he's like yeah I'm sure I'm like I'm shooting these two guys Harry and Dorian and now uh -huh. like Fucking and then crazy, even bro. even last time I was here, we were doing the podcast. We were talking. I mean, we were just talking about it. Mm -hmm. but like uh, Aaron was like not. He was like behind the camera and like just getting like BTS and all that. Kind yeah, of yeah stuff. I was behind the camera. I didn't yeah. even pick up a camera when I met you. I wasn't even shooting back back then. Like no, you didn't. You didn't do anything. I wasn't. Yeah. And then I was like, I just wanted to try it out because I saw you yeah. do it. I saw Duhan do it. I had some friends who sh like did photography, mm -hmm. so I picked mm -hmm. up a camera in April of last year. That's it. Insane. Hasn't been a full year, bro. Yet. That yeah. is like. That's insane. And that's honestly, actually insane because like you're actually like really good, which is like, see, dude. When people tell me that, I feel no, like I, I don't I believe truly, it. Yet. You you skip levels. Like, <laughs> I appreciate you, it. You went yeah. from like beginner to like keeping up with everyone that you work with now. And, yeah. And the crazy part is like I was always that guy who like asked like you, Ramel, mm -hmm. uh, Duhan for tips on like how to do this. And now at Corrupted, I've had a couple people ask me like, mm -hmm. Hey, what should I do this for my settings? I'm like, Whoa, like. I'm still doing that myself. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm still learning, yeah, yeah. but people are like looking up to me now for photography and videography advice, yeah. which That's is insane. crazy. I'll be honest, bro. But you're a nurse. Like you're smart as fuck. So I, I don't want to say like that. <laughs> I feel like you just pick things up easily. So yeah. if, if you like, I'm right. I just bought this camera. Like you learn it quicker than someone who's not yeah, as smart I, as you. I've heard you say some like terms and shit. I'm like, I just assume that like, this has always been an interest of yours. I yeah. didn't know that you just kind of started picking that shit up yeah. recently. I've, see, I've always been a creative and stuff in a, in a sense where I, I used to play in like bands. Mm -hmm. So we used to like make flyers, do promotions and stuff. And then yeah. I kind of like lost myself in that scene where I went to college, I was in the frat, I was playing rugby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then- um, Kappa sick, Aaron. <laughs> nah, it was Pike. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Anyways, after I like, feel like after graduation, I was kind of going back to my roots of like, hey, this is like who I truly am. Yeah. Like I, I want to be a creative. And then moving down here and like meeting Joe, Harry, Dorian, and being around people in our gym, mm -hmm. um, it's like normal. Like because yeah. it wasn't yeah. normal back at home. If like you were doing some sort of like creative videography sh like stuff mm -hmm. in the gym, people would like like be like, oh, what is this guy trying to do? But yeah. here it's like normal. Yeah. Yeah. It's super normal. Bro, having a camera is like everyone, having a camera, camera is like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't even like think about it. Yeah, bro. And now you're here. Now this is your yeah. business partner. No, not business not, partner. Not like business <laughs> you're working for his <laughs> that now, you're, that again. now you're working for yeah, his, yeah, his yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. Like for it's his fucking company. dope, bro. Yeah. It's yeah. full circle moment, bro. Really is dope. I wish we could talk about Yeah, I do you want to talk about doing. I want to talk yeah. about GBT, bro, because yeah, uh, like dude, you guys are it's just you're killing it. Like the shoots are insane. Like I everyone's wearing it. Every every time I look at my IG, someone new is is, is repping it, adding yeah. it. Like, how like how did this growth happen so fast? Um, so it's 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 like a myriad of different things. I think uh, so. Kind of going back to the summer, um, we just had like this ex like explosion, mm -hmm. and it was weird because mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have or experienced anything like this. Mm -hmm. You could like almost feel it. You're like, all right, it's about to happen. Yeah. Like I feel like at the beginning of the year, um, I could tell like the energy was just like off in a certain sense to where I'm just like, I don't feel like the brand is where it needs to be at. Yeah. And it's still not. But like definitely at the beginning of last year, I was like, okay, you know, we're gonna have to start working and finding our way. And then as the summer approached, something just told me I was like, Yeah, we're about to mm -hmm. we're about to have like a really good close out or we're about to have a, a really good end of the year. Yeah. Um yeah, so like it's it's insane because like we grew like I want to say we basically grew like 10x, like which is like weird. from summer 1.0 in, in months. From yeah, for summer uh, summer 1.0 was like the introduction to that, and mm -hmm. then summer 2.0, and it just kept snowballing yeah. and snowballing yeah. and snowballing, and then to close the year out, like we basically just grew like 10x, like in six months, it's insane. Back, like, which I, is like weird. And I realized that from the outside looking in, like it's 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 insane. And yeah, I would say. I would say that GBT now, it's almost like, I don't want to say it's not, people don't know it from you. People yeah, know yeah, the yeah. brand now. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? It's yeah. not even like, people like GBT, that shit's fire. Yeah. They're not like, oh, that's Russ Wolf's brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People which, just know the brand now, which is dope. Yeah, which was like the transition that I was working on because yeah. for a long time, it was just a, it was just like Russ Swole merch. Merch, whatever, merch yeah, right? yeah. So it was more so stuff that was like catering strictly to the gym. Mm -hmm. I feel like now we're at a point now where like we got clothes where I'm just like, 
like like it's funny like this sounds so insane <laughs> but like i saw aaron's tea and i was like that's a tough ass tea and then like i was like oh, oh shit it's like <laughs> just got that <laughs> like that's, it's like our this, the, this gbt shit so yeah so that's that, crazy yeah but that's what i kind of want like you want to be able to have pieces and clothes mm -hmm. where it's just like it's not fitness related yeah. it's just like bro this is just a dope ass yeah that mm -hmm. I, I, I would say that about like my shit like obviously i have lt on the front but yeah i want to get to a point of entry where it's like yo it's a dope hoodie like yeah, they don't have to know anything about me. They don't gotta know what LT Visual Media is. Like, yeah, that's, that's like, a sick hoodie, bro. You that's know? the best compliment, like for someone that makes clothes or whatever. Yeah. It's like, yo, well, where'd you get that from? Mm -hmm. I'll just be like, that shit, my shit, <laughs> shit's yeah. mine, bro. I, I, I think shit. I was eating. I was eating at a, at a ramen place, and our server's like, that's a dope, dope hoodie. hoodie. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> man, code Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> slide it, <laughs> paper. Slide, slide on the other seat. Type this in, in the. In but the in box. terms of clothes, too, like. Even the gym is getting that recognition of like, this is not, some people come in and don't even know who you were. Yeah. I've had that instance, mm -hmm. like this is a dope gym. Yeah. And like, they didn't know who Russ was. Like it wasn't Russ's gym. It was just like a really cool. That's a good thing. Yeah. That's no, a, it was dope. Want. I was literally talking to, um like this kid came in, he was like a new member mm -hmm. and um he was asking like what, like what each bar was. And he's like asking me, I'm like, oh, <laughs> let me, let me, let me show you. And he's like, yo, thank you so much. Like my name is so-and-so, yeah, yeah. who are you? I'm like, oh, my name is Russ. And like it felt good because I'm yeah. just like this is what I want. I want people to come here because they like the gym, yeah. and not because they like me or know, even know who I am. Because yeah. you know you get that thing mm -hmm. where like people want to come to the gym to like run into different people. I want to get to a point where it's like, nah, I want to go to Corrupted because Corrupted is a dope ass gym. Yeah. It's like a landmark place where I have to stop by. Yeah, destination yeah. gym. Yeah. yeah, I think it's dope. Like you're still doing this shit. You're know, you're still in the game. It's not yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. not like just like ah yeah. I used to lift and now I'm like running the clothes and yeah yeah. You're still in the game. Like, like you, you just came back from uh. Where'd you go? South, uh, to South Korea. South Korea. Yeah. How was that? It was, it was dope. It yeah. was fucking dope. Yeah. Dude, the, the fucking pictures were insane. Yeah, the, I yeah. was so jealous. The yeah. videos Duan's putting out from oh that? My oh my gosh. Yeah. Shout so, out Duan. Yeah. South Korea was dope. Um, I didn't really get to experience South Korea as much because I was mm -hmm. there to compete. Mm -hmm. uh, Tokyo, I was allowed to be more of a tourist because I was there for yeah. slight business, but then also just like being there just- uh, Yeah, you're like, lock, like prep, like you're yeah. locked in. Like, yeah. yeah, but Tokyo was like- Tokyo is fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, I heard good things about Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, it's insane. Like just the culture, how people dress. It's like they're ahead mm -hmm. of the United yeah. States in terms Japan of like, fashion. Yeah. yeah, it's it's insane there. Like just walking around, like the average person yeah. dripped out. Just like on a fucking Tuesday, just yeah, afternoon. getting groceries. Yeah, yeah, like insane. your average like nine to fiver just dresses yeah. really well. Like See, there's, I don't know. Yeah, like you got like to me when I think of like fashion, you guys like Aaron's always dressing all this dope shit. Which I love. Like, yeah. What got you guys interested in fashion? I think it's just culture, man. Like, it's just kind of like how I grew up. I think yeah. um, you want to show that you, I'd say like in, so like in black culture, right? Like, mm -hmm. it's like you never really have. So like sometimes like showing that you have it is like wearing it on your body. Okay. Yeah. So I would okay. say like, <laughs> I don't want to be like super racial. Or <laughs> no, like it's all good. <laughs> but I feel like, like, uh, we always used to say it's like, oh, like with white people, you can't really tell they got money, but they got money. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, go like, Gates yeah. wearing like, yeah. <laughs> like a red t-shirt. Yeah, jeans, exactly. Like, but like <laughs> um, in our culture, like expressing yourself and like showing that you have it is like what mm -hmm. you wear. Cause like, that's the first like indication that you got it. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like um, when you walk around, like when I first look at somebody, the mm -hmm. first thing I look at that is the fit. fit. Yeah. Yep. So like the way I go about it, it's like, let me see their shoes. All right. You know, that's some. That's some tough shit. It's like okay. if you know, you know. You just yeah, make your you way know, up. You know, and then you make your way up. And you're yeah. like, all right, let me see the let me see the pants. Like today, I saw you wearing the uh, the Stony Island joints. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, all right, those all are right. hard. Yeah, yeah. Those so like, it just goes up this. and down. So it's just more so just like a representation of who you are. Yeah. And like a form of expression. Yeah. And, uh, I like that. And for me, I feel like since I grew up in, I grew up playing in bands, like I said before, and it, the punk culture was very DIY. People were making their mm -hmm. own clothes for their own bands. Um, they were doing their own graphic design. And if you if you got like certain like band designs that are like really really old, those go for so much on like Depop and Ground. Yeah. Those vintage tees, even like bands in the early two thousands, hardcore like hardcore tees, mm -hmm. like they can go up to like five hundred bucks. Well, it's crazy yeah. now that people are making new clothes. Yeah, like replicating those old school exactly. band tees. Even everyone's me, like, like, I like I love that shit. Like, I think it's dope. The, the the current fashion trend right now is like vintage band tees. Yeah, and like. Bands didn't even. I fuck with that though. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Yeah, it's because everyone wants that look, but like having the the real thing is like mm -hmm. it just feels different. Like oh yeah, that, you, yeah, the real cracking, the real fade. It's different. So I feel like me, uh, most of my fashion inspo was from like that punk hardcore DIY yeah. culture, which I incorporate in like all my videos with like yeah, yeah. they VHS. used to record their 
their shows in VHS and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. that's just hard. I fuck no, I, I love the band shirts. I think it's sick that now companies are trying to bring that look back. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it goes like it's, it goes in like waves and circles and shit. Because yeah. like mm-hmm. now we're going back to like that early two thousands vibe. Yeah. Everyone's wearing so, baggy jeans, baggy yeah. jeans, bro. jeans. Bro, I used shoes. to wear South Pole jeans, bro. South Pole. Those were <laughs> yeah. crazy. Echo, echo jeans. Were I look back, jeans. I'm like, bro. I had, bro. How did my mom let me leave the house like that? <laughs> On Twitter, I saw this dude fighting somebody. Like, he was wearing Echo shorts. <laughs> and it's like, bro, if anyone's wearing Echo, get the fuck away from them. Because they so can true. fucking fight, man. You got to you gotta stay with them. Uh, dude, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's like, just going back to, like, the explosion and stuff like that. It's just been, like, an insane ride. Like, it's, yeah. it's weird. Like, imagine, like, your company just, like, just boom out of nowhere yeah yeah well w- with that do you see yourself having to expand corrupted strength no nah, not the so the gym is like a little bit different so like like you have you have um gbt which is more like mm-hmm. e-commerce right so it's like easily scalable like a gym it's yeah. like you can't it's it's like scaling that it's like different you know what yeah. i mean so it's like it would be more so like an inve- another investment because like to open the gym was an investment yeah mm-hmm. to force expansion that would be like another investment would you say it's getting a little overcrowded at the new gym at corrupted now uh, i definitely see a lot of new faces like yeah. even more than before because i remember when i used to come in at like 11 a.m it was like me and like two other people yeah it was like the 11 a.m crew but now you go in and like a random wednesday remember that random yeah. wednesday yeah, it, was, yeah, it yeah. felt like a saturday it's fucking packed, and it was yeah. packed well it's gonna like, keep growing the same as alpha yeah. like corrupt is gonna yeah. keep getting more, more and more members the more people migrate here yeah it depends i feel like it's just like we i want to so like going forward like if when we do expand mm-hmm. what i want to do is like create more of a because i feel like y'all like y'all like y'all i feel like y'all would train at corrupted if it was like accommodating for y'all yeah so oh, like yeah. If, you, if there was like more bodybuilding equipment and shit yeah. like that like you would train there because i feel like the aesthetics kind of mm-hmm. like it's i mean it's, it's a dope gym yeah yeah is what like yeah. draws people and when they i'm like watching people walk through those doors and this like the look on their faces it's like yeah it's like, like oh shit oh my God. Bro, you, but, you could walk and take an iphone pic and it's fucking insane. yeah yeah you, you but, can't take a bad picture there yeah but you can only do so much you know what i mean because yeah. it's 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 gym catering more to pile so mm-hmm. like when we do expand what i would want to do is cater to uh bodybuilders mm-hmm. but then also have the powerlifting section kind of like separate the two yeah because yeah. what i've noticed is that you can create like a powerlifting specific gym, but not everyone is going to go there because there's powerlifting mm-hmm. equipment. Yeah. Like, like that gym in Miami went to. Yeah. We had that powerlifting section. They had the bodybuilding section. Yeah. yeah. Would you consider a power build like that? The split? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's a perfect sure. That's like a perfect yeah. yeah. I've never been to power build from the photos. Oh, it looks like dude. it's just hella fucking. It's amazing. Like yeah. squat bar, like deadlift section. And that's, then just, that's a gym that I really like. So like they have yeah. like um probably like what? Six or eight pl- powerlifting platforms? Yeah, I platforms. think they have like eight combo racks. Yeah, and eight then combo like, racks. And then like following eight deadlift platforms across. yeah that's insane and then like a super extensive bodybuilding yeah. like thing like they're yeah, gonna go there camera. yeah that's in uh philly i think it's in kop yeah. Yeah, right? philly, yeah it's not far from me and like uh the aesthetics inside like the graffiti on the walls yeah, like, yeah it feels yeah. like mm-hmm. a warehouse gym mm. but still like that high end yeah gym feel like corrupted shout yeah. out sue train yes yeah, sh- shout out sue run that shit over there <laughs> love that shout guy out the philly gang for real. No, that's awesome bro yeah it, it really is insane to watch how much gbt has grown like yeah it's uh it's a trip for sure but it's just like yeah because i'm thinking like i'm thinking like whenever it comes to like investing in different launches and shit like that i'm like mm-hmm. god damn these numbers are <laughs> it's a fucking lot you gotta, you gotta put in a lot more yeah well, well what goes into a launch like what's the first step do you like come up with a uh sort of like a theme and then so, you go from there yeah it really de- so it really depends um i've kind of stepped away from like making the themes myself um so we have a designer his name mm-hmm. is dion um shout dion, out dion yeah shout out to dion dion usually comes up with the with the designs and then now what i'm doing is incorporating more of the conceptual side of it so it's like mm-hmm. what story was being told when you created these uh created this uh collection okay. right so what we're gonna do what we're gonna do going forward is like all right so we have uh january february march tell me like the type of vibe that you're kind of like thinking about or like any of that kind of stuff so we can incorporate that Mm -hmm. and tell a story whenever we drop yeah do you try Um, to like relate with the seasons like make clothes for its winter yeah i mean there's yeah yeah, there's gonna be clothes or it's like right now like it's cold so we're gonna be pushing more hoodies Mm -hmm. um and like other kind of outerwear um and as the summer rolls on we're gonna lean more into like more of the summer stuff but um what i used to do is like i used to focus on like oh here's um Here's like the spring launch and then focus on like the season and match mm-hmm. the yeah. aesthetic and vibe the aesthetic of the season. Of the season. Instead of just creating like dope ass shit, 
and then saying, here's our spring collection. Here's our, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, I would see winter and it's like, oh, let's drop winter themed yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. looking like designs. Like blue which, and like yeah. winter colors and yeah, shit. We don't really do that anymore. It's mostly just yeah. focusing on the collections and then um, telling a story behind that collection. Yeah, I feel like the That's story dope. approach, like how we're doing this next drop is like, you can look back like in the future yeah. and be like, oh, I remember how I was feeling that time. Why yeah. we did that collection? Yeah. We're, we're selling more of a story rather than a product. Like yeah, setting yeah. A, a, a that's aesthetic. so true, bro. Even yeah. young LA, like I'll be in my closet, I'll look at a shirt, I'll be like, <laughs> I remember ah, that time. noble tea. Like, <laughs> yeah, we do that yeah. shirt at BSU. Like, it takes me back to like the, takes me back to like, like the whole moment, like the whole moment in time. I remember like the day shooting. I remember like, uh, and that's how doing close this. should like, be. Yeah, that's how yeah. close should be. It's like a song when you hear a song and it takes yeah, you back to like, exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, I miss her. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's, it's like drop, it's, drop the song. Yeah. Which song is? No, I'm not Marvin's room. What? Because <laughs> we're trying to get more, we're trying to get more into that aspect. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, yo, like, tell me the type of music you're thinking about that would coincide with that. Yeah, like, no, I fuck with that. Yeah, yeah. So we're trying to get more into that aspect of. I feel like last year we uh, we just dropped designs mm-hmm. and then just try to match it with our yeah. shooting, but we want to actually tell a story. Yeah, for sure. No, that's yeah. that's sick as fuck. That's the way to do it. Because I, I know, like I just said, like. I look at like the jersey, like the young lady jersey. I'm like, ah, oh, dude, the fucking shoot day with mm. the drone. I'm like, takes me back to a moment, and uh, it's a, it's just like it becomes like a timeless piece. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah like yeah. a one of one, and it's just dope. Yeah, yeah. It's it's interesting too because I feel as though like um, like a lot of people don't understand. I mean, for the consumers that are watching and people like mm-hmm. that, like people buy into the experience of it. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I, like I don't own a piece of young LA, but like I look at it from out, from outside. It's like, there's mm-hmm. like a very specific culture that they kind of like cater to. Yeah. And it's like, when you buy their clothes, I feel like you, you buy become, into that experience. Yeah, you yeah, buy you, that experience, you buy into like what you want to be around with. Like, exactly. Yeah. And like, there's like a very, like you could tell, like, you know what the demographic is and mm-hmm. like you can very, you can very much so see um, which is like all the content that they put yeah. out, and that's what we're trying to do now with Get yeah. Today and like our 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 brands. So. Yeah, I think what's dope is that the clothes and the drops they connect with the athletes' YouTube videos. So yeah. like Weez, for instance, right? Mm-hmm. Whatever that drop he was wearing in would you go, uh, South Korea, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. People connect like, oh, that's the hoodie from South Korea yeah. that Weez yeah. was wearing at the meet, mm-hmm. which is also dope. That's that's why like YouTube is so important. All these old influencers and stuff like that because that's what your the community relates the clothes to it's yeah like mm-hmm. it, it takes them to that moment like oh he was suit was wearing that hoodie in the new video yeah and like you know what i'm saying and that's that's what's really too like cool to me is when people recognize a piece from like a video yeah and they're like oh i want that shit yeah yeah, yeah. that's yeah. why like we just killing it bro yeah just, yeah just looking back from like the pod when can, he was can you believe that he was like <coughs> he was only supposed to be here for three months right <laughs> i think he called <laughs> three yeah, we, months. we spoke on the phone i think it was or his DM. I definitely have the DM. And he was uh-huh. he was like unsure. I'm like, bro, you got to fucking do it. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, when he I'm told like, me insane. he was thinking about it, I'm like, this man's going to stay here. There's no shot he's going to leave. Like, bro, yeah. your potential is like unreal. And now to see what he's doing for you guys is insane. Yeah. Yeah. What's his role? What's his what's he's, he's role? A, he's a creative director. Yeah. So like basically, um, it's like all encompassing. Like when we have meetings, um, I try to empower him mm-hmm. to speak up. Like, what do you think creatively about um, shoots and all that yeah. kind of stuff? Um. I think I mean I'm pretty him and Dion work closely too. I think uh they probably talk about like what products that we should mm. be dropping and all that kind of stuff as well. Yeah. Um I've kind of just stepped away more and yeah. more. And That's I just kinda though. like yeah, yeah, I kinda yeah. like empower them to like use their personalities and like their takes mm-hmm. and their better judgment. And then I'll come in, I'll be like, Okay, let's look at what everyone's doing. All right, cool. I think we should pull back here. This is a little bit more reasonable for this yeah. time, mm-hmm. but like I like this and this out there. No, that's dope. You you trust them and like their yeah. vision. It, yeah. It's gonna match your vision. Yeah, but he much. has his hand in a lot of different stuff. So like whenever we do shoots now, he's like um looking and he's like, Okay, like let's let's shoot it like this or like mm-hmm. what what do you guys think about this? And like I could see I could see like his maturity and like confidence building slowly and slowly yeah. drop to drop. With each drop. And yeah. And the good thing about Sean, it's like he keeps up with like the trends, like, the yeah. Trends, like yeah. Some stuff he'd be saying, I'd be like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> yeah, but he's younger. So. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's younger. He that's a that's another yeah, important. We're just talking about how he doesn't know old movies. Oh yeah, <laughs> I always roast him because I feel like he just spawned at the age he nineteen. Just spawned at nineteen. Yeah, he doesn't know like no childhood. He doesn't know about Usher or anything like that. Like when we ask him about oh movies, gosh. he doesn't know. Shit. We were seeing Usher at the the bus on the way downtown. Yeah, and he was just like. Why? I was like, bro, how do you not? Know yeah, this how do you get so fucking? But I keep forgetting, like he's like he's yeah. young, you know. So like, I, that's another thing too. Like, I'm I'm pushing goddamn thirty at this point. I'm, <laughs> I'm twenty. Yeah, I'm I'm twenty eight, bro. 
So I think it's really important to have like very young, young heads. Yeah, young heads around <laughs> yeah. you. Like especially I, in business too. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like they they keep you updated because this is a young somewhat of a young man's game, bro. So yeah. like you got to be able to understand trends and understand like what's popping, what's not, no, and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like, like I don't know how like y'all's relationship works over at Young LA. Well, that's the thing. I was gonna say, like shout out Sush. Sush is literally changing Young LA by yeah. himself, like single handedly. Like his, like you said, like he's like the young head, mm -hmm. and they're they're really listening to him, and they're because mm -hmm. he knows what what these kids want. Yeah, and he's posting on a snap. He's showing samples. He's like he's so in touch with the the community, like the young kids. Yeah, obviously Gary does his thing. They're the owners, Robbie, but like Sush is like in the. He's like in the mix you, you know drive, what i'm saying like he's he the one that it, yeah. yeah and i would say like the clothes have changed a lot since sushi oh really got gosh, yeah. involved like, yeah like sushi already had like a look to him mm -hmm. and then like seeing that look being incorporated in young la yeah is like you can like you can see he's it. straight up just making clothes that he knows people want like that yeah. should, should he he wants to wear and he knows yeah. that the, like everybody else wants to wear so it's it's you need that you know what i'm saying you need that not nah, for sure you need that person that's like in the community that knows yeah. what people want yeah because like i could I have like my personal taste, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like as I get as I get older and older, it gets like more mature, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's things where I'm just like, all right, maybe I should like punt this off to someone that's a yeah. little bit younger. But you have to fight your ego too, because you're like, nah, nah, I don't, I don't yeah. think that's gonna work. But then it's like, nah, I mean, like maybe maybe they know what they're talking about. Let me just go ahead and like shut <laughs> yeah. the fuck up on yeah, this one. I, like me personally, I've been liking the more plain shit. Like I think this is fire. It literally yeah, just yeah, says young yeah. lady on the neck. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But to me, I'm like, this is dope as fuck. I'm yeah, like, this is sick. But the kids obviously want like that loud graphic tee with like. You know, crazy shit going on. So you gotta, yeah. you gotta kind of balance both. Yeah, and give people what they want. Yeah, because you, you have to. Oh, my bad. You have to balance like being like a, um, because you, st we're still influencers at the end of the day. So it's exactly. like we, we influence what people, what people like wear. as yeah. well. Yeah. Like, it, whenever you put something on, people will like. Yeah. Like let's see. Like, a good example is like whenever you started squatting Jordans. Like yeah, that yeah, wasn't yeah. a thing until you. Did, yeah, like You then, like started the the shoe game in the gym. Yeah. Yeah. That's and then, like, like, if I wear crop tops, <laughs> such a oh my gosh, you know, yeah. these kids ruining their Jordans. <laughs> squatting, bro. That's true. You yeah. can just replace them. These kids are like, You fucking, I bought you those for your birthday. You fucking yeah. squatting them. <laughs> yeah. So that's great. The crop tops, too. Crop tops. People yeah, used to get tops. flamed, and now it's like, I still everyone. get flamed for it, but then I see, like, it's so funny. I get flamed for crop tops, but I've never met a girl that does not like it. Yeah, you, Honestly, you, you yeah. pull it off, bro. I don't know, yeah. you, some yeah. guys are walking. I'm like, yeah, I'm just saying, I'm like, off, I'm like, dude, I'm like, put that shit away. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Please, bro. No. I feel like if you're, I feel like if you're a dude and you got a girlfriend, and you put a crop top on. I like, you know, you have a decent <laughs> physique or whatever. I feel like your girl's gonna like that shit. She's yeah. like, damn, like you look hot as fuck in that crop top. Oh yeah, if I had, if I had the abs going, I'd be fucking <laughs> Right now, you just see like happy trail, and, like, <laughs> little fluff. Happy trail, and fluff. But going back to what we were saying about like the community and shit, yeah. I know you guys. We were talking before about your ambassador program, and you got all these yeah. new guys on there. Yeah, yeah. So, what does it take for the guys out there who, or girls that want to be part of GBT? What are you looking for? How? Do, what's the process like? Yeah, it's funny because um. It's different. It's like a case by case mm -hmm. basis. I feel like mm -hmm. the most generic one I could say, like, it's not hard, man. Yeah. It's not. It's not fucking. No it's secret. Not, yeah, it's, no it's secret. not. It's not rocket science. Like, obviously, have um a, a good following that um we could see and it's tangible. Mm -hmm. And then um, I will say though, I don't. I don't try to sign everybody. I don't try to say it. Yeah. like. If I find you obnoxious, <laughs> chances, no, dude. chances, like I'm being straight bro, up, that, bro. Like that, that's a big thing. Like, yeah, it's got to be someone you want to go on a trip with, like yeah, be in yeah. a hotel yeah. with. That shit's important, bro. Be like, on a I, bus with, like, yeah. Like obviously, like I understand, like I'm not gonna align with every single person. Like mm -hmm. we're gonna have our different takes, but like if you're, if you're, if you're just fucking unbearable, like <laughs> it's not gonna. I don't give a fuck if you have like a million <laughs> followers or whatever. Like mm -hmm. that's there, the key. Yeah, yeah to me, because it, it, you also have to be aware of like the culture that you're building. Mm -hmm. And if you bring people into your building that fuck up that culture, like you're, it's gonna start becoming um, contagious, like within yeah. the within the uh, building. So, I just think, um, like I said, um, have a have a good following, um, and then be pushing a message that I can align with. Yeah, and then also too, like it's tough too because I I can look at people and be like, this person has potential. Mm -hmm. Like there's people that we've kind of like uh, put our name next to that they weren't necessarily popping, but then like literally like in a month or two, like. <laughs> Like just like, uh. yeah it's crazy <laughs> like um we signed for example like uh two of our, our biggest athletes right now um we have we have swole which is a oh I, his name is christian but i just call him yeah, swole. Swole, swole rickets yeah swole yeah, rickets yeah. um we signed him he had like shit probably like 
like 20 or 30 or something. It was so, very, very small. Very small. Damn. He's at like, he's getting close to 100 or some shit like mm -hmm. that. And like, he's like, he's popping now. Is he living out here? Not yet, no. Nah. Not yet. <laughs> Bro, yeah, three hundred thousand if he was out here. Because I, I, see, I feel like I see him all the time. Yeah, he, he flies out a lot. He, he also posts like old content from like a span of days. I'm like, wait, Christian, you're still here? He's like, no, nah, that was from like February. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then we have Cranon too. Um, we signed her when she had like thirty. Yeah, thousand. I, I discovered Cranon from you guys. Like, yeah, her. I, I and she, she she's like, um, she's so dope. Yeah, she's dope, and she's like, like what one twenty now? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's honestly my favorite thing to do is to find someone or like have Weez and Bella find someone yeah. that like you could just see the potential yeah Cranin, and they just Cranin's like just, the perfect like the poster child of like you have so much potential you just yeah. need to be in the right the right place with the right people and she yeah. made the move and she here. did it yeah and, we have another girl too her name is uh her name is Keeks Princess Keeks on social media like literally we signed her she had I can't remember fuck but she's almost at 60k yeah and Keeks and, has that look yeah. too yeah she has she that has look. look so like we saw so like this is very rare, so like I don't want people to think no, that this happens all the time. Even like, I don't want to do it, but like, how you said you need to have a following, right? Yeah. Sometimes I think it's more about what value can you bring to yeah. GBT? Mm -hmm. what, what's your, like, the potential, the value you bring? Because you could have like 2,000 followers, but it's like, dude, this guy brings something that we don't have here. Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe he's good at like graphic design. Maybe he's mm -hmm. good at like, he, he, he has a role that like needs to be filled for GBT, yeah. which is dope. And it's so crazy because. I don't know if like I don't know if I have like this talent or something. I could look at someone. I'm like, <laughs> this fucker has it. Because like when I met, I mean, Dude, it's, that's it's, real. Yeah, Christian. No. Christian wasn't that difficult. But like when I saw Christian, I looked at him. I was like, he just stood out to me. And I was like, yeah, he's 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 gonna like yeah. pop off soon. I looked at Karen. Karen is pretty self explanatory too. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, she's gonna pop off. Dude. But Keeks too. Like I remember. I feel like she's gonna pop off. Yeah. No, nah, I saw. We were sitting in a meeting, and like we were like gonna use her to model. And I'm like, we should probably sign her. I feel like <laughs> something. Fuck that model something is telling. Like this girl just got it. Like she. Yeah. Like something. She's gonna just, pop you, off. You soon. can tell. You have yeah. a good eye for it. Too. Yeah. So like, like I, I can I can look at someone. I'm like, yeah, give it time. And it's gonna work out for you. But that's it. Like create create that it create yeah. that value around yourself. Yeah, yeah. So when these brands see you or they, or they come across yeah. you on IG, like, oh, like give them a reason to want you. Exactly. You know and, and not everyone's value is going to be t attached to followers. Like I understand exactly. that. Yeah, some yeah. people like, some people it's just like, like Aaron, for example, like you're not super big on social media, but you're like your videography and shit is like. like his value. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. fucking amazing. I think I have so like, like five, five K on Instagram. Bro, you're, yeah. great at, you're great at marketing products. You're now a talented photographer, videographer. Like you bring value to GBT. Yeah. And then that's, that's what's most important. I think right now, especially in the, like still in the early stages, you know, yeah. yeah, getting people on that are valuable because you're going to keep growing no matter what. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And like, yeah, the value aspect is like it, it you can apply to like anything, mm. anything. anything, literally not anything. even like social media, but just like anything. your work, like anything outside the, like even the gym. It's just yeah. like, cause like we have, now we have Aaron around like doing like in our creative meetings and like mm -hmm. talking to Dion, talking to uh, mm -hmm. Weez, like trying to figure out different ways to shoot things and just create content. So, yeah, and bro, that's what we pretty much did today. Yeah, literally. Uh, yeah. Changing up like a little bit of our like marketing strategy for mm -hmm. the next drop because like the if you look look at the clothes like it's not gym clothes now. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like it's more street wear. Street wear for but sure. when it's worn in the gym, I would say like GB people who are in GBT in the gym they just look like dripped out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying and we yeah. want to have that culture of like the fly people in the gym. That's what's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are making clothes that are more like street wear. But people are wearing them in the gym and they look fucking sick. They yeah. got nice shoes on and it's just like a full fit. Yeah, the best feeling is going to like because I I I mean obviously I, like, I wear sneakers and shit, mm -hmm. but going to a sneaker shop and people are like, damn, like where you get that? Where you get that hoodie from or where you get those shorts from shit. or whatever. I'm just like, <laughs> hey bro, <laughs> shit, get on my website. Take my card. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. great, bro. No, it really is. It's awesome to see like how much yeah. GBT's grown and I'm happy to see Aaron part of it now. Yeah, yeah. I I still remember I was I was at work and I wasn't making any content. And Gia uh, DM me and was like, "Hey, we, uh, we need a model last minute for this GBT." Oh yeah, I remember that like, day. Yeah. Shock drop, and I was like, I literally like, <laughs> oh, shit. I like ran to the bathroom, like, "Yes, so I will be there." After your work. Hair and shit. I literally like scheduled a haircut. I was so nervous. This is my first time at HQ. I still have a photo of myself like sitting oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in that mirror. <laughs> I took a mirror pic. I'm like, "Damn, I can't believe I'm here." <laughs> no fucking way. Yeah, in the bathroom, just like. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> we, need but, that, we need to get that warehouse soon. But yeah. yeah, but that was my first ever like interaction with GBT. I, I modeled a shock drop. Um, it was like that the brown tea, like, yeah, Travis Scott was, something. The 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 flower tea. 
the flower okay yeah yeah, 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 that was my first time i'm like wow i was like this is actually kind of fun yeah and then gia hit me again to model for corrupted i'm like oh yeah yeah Oh man, I gotta get another fade. <laughs> and then, and then I modeled for the gym. I'm like, wow, like I feel like this is like I actually enjoy this. Yeah. Yeah. And then like That's seeing the thing, everyone bro. work around me, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick up the camera. Yeah. And then got more shoots, got more modeling opportunities. It eventually landed, you know, being an ambassador for GBT, which is like one of the reasons why like I wanted mm -hmm. to be here. Yeah. I didn't think it was gonna happen. I was just like, you know what? I'll just just do my thing, be my yeah. be myself, be in the gym. Yeah. And we's you mm. agreed on it and ever since organic, then it's, bro. yeah super it was organic very, i wasn't like it was very organic that was yeah. the thing yeah and you can't i feel like can't force that you can't like teach that yeah. a lot of people these days i feel like are forcing it so hard even forcing like young so LA, hard, like yeah. we we talked about like putting code blank in soon. people's bio soon it's like bro <laughs> like it's kind of it's a weird it's just like a turn off i don't know it's a weird approach to, it's, it's such a it's, weird approach yeah, let's say now that I know Gary personally, it's, it like he doesn't like that shit. No. He yeah, want to see Youngly soon in in your bio. Like, what the fuck? What it's, mean? It just creates like this weird. I don't know, man. Like, I appreciate the love and shit like that, but I don't know. It's just like this weird because you seem like too much like a fan. <laughs> and yeah, it's like, if you it, get on the team, are you like a fan? It's like a fan, or like, like, are you actually doing yeah, this for? Yeah, are you actually like passionate about this shit? Mm -hmm. you, like, I don't know. It's, it's it's don't, like a weird don't do that shit. yeah don't i wish i could shit. speak on i wish i could like point my finger as to like why it's so fucking weird but i just it just like a turn off because it doesn't seem as though like you're um it seems like what like okay you're gonna get here and then do what like what's your end goal bro like thank you that's literally i think that's what it's just like your end goal like what is it just to be sponsored okay yeah, then your end goal shouldn't be a code yeah it should not be a code that's what happens these kids get on and then it's like who the fuck am i yeah like, exactly i was then, the guy chasing young la it's like all right now i'm on young la it's like what do Wait, I do? Like, yeah, what do I do like, here? Who, who am yeah. I? Like what, like, what am I doing? Like, yeah, I always tell people, I'm like, if you have to ask, you're probably... <laughs> it's a no. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably a no. Like, because it's like, you shouldn't be the one asking. We should be the one asking you. Yeah. Like, you should build your platform, build your personality, build your um, build your brand up to a point where it's like, no, 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 we're the ones coming yeah. to you. And we're the ones asking you to send you shit. Yeah. You can't just be like, yo, like, what do I got to do? It's like, yeah, you you doing this the wrong way. Yeah. And, and do you think this comes from, like, how we talked about before the pod, like, how fitness is becoming a trend a trend days. it's yeah. like just, you just yeah. want to be part of it yeah because yeah. like it, it works for people yeah, it's yeah. Like, i gotta be part of that and back in the day it was Sick. so corny to post fitness back in the day oh yeah for sure and now it's like <laughs> cool to post fitness like, yeah you, you want that shit to happen organic like me getting in young la was just so like i didn't move here but like i want to work for young exactly LA. you yeah. moved here and you were like shooting for you were shooting for like, i was just the like the camera guy so that was my value guy. like and then i was providing value to the people in the gym sush needed someone to shoot like one of the, the drops and i was mm. the camera guy so like mm. yo can you shoot this i did it i get sent the photos and like that was my value young mm. lady was like oh these are good like this guy this guy can help us out because we need someone to sh shoot sush and that was my value and then mm. they were like hey you want to be part of the team you mm. know what i'm saying i i came in with no intentions of working for young la exactly. i just had i had value so and, anyone and who i worked with i was giving them my skill my camera skills and all that like and it happened organically and, and that's the way that's what you want it to happen, you know? Yeah. And yeah. watching it happen from like, I was an, like, I was watching you do everything. I, yeah. I, wa I watched, Joe didn't have a car. He was Ubering everywhere. Yeah. Damn. Like, he was Ubering to Alpha Elite. So was I wasn't making Ubering shit, to get so. groceries. <laughs> God damn. Like when, when we lived in the first house, we only had my car and Harry's car. Dorian didn't have a car either. Mm. Dorian was living in the living room. Some people were sleeping on the hammocks in the living room. Yeah. yeah. I remember like, one time Doran walked to Alpha Alpha Lee. <laughs> what? Yeah, he literally would walk like to Alpha Lee. <laughs> from Wait, the, no, 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 hold on. From Missouri on. City. <laughs> bro, I don't from think Mo I'll... City, not Missouri City. <laughs> Mo City. <laughs> bro, wait, what? Doran yeah. walked from Doran walked to Alpha Lee. Like not, he would. Like, it's not surprising, Dorian. Like if it was Dorian. me or Harry, that's crazy, but Dorian and that's holy yeah. shit. It's kind of normal. God damn. That's it's very Dorian of Dorian. Bro, that's <laughs> like for, for those of y'all listening. Drinking a like, coffee, just I think with the car, how far is Alpha from y'all's old crib? It's like 10 minutes. 10 minute finish? drive. Yeah. 10 minute drive. That was a hike. Hope you got a good workout. In it. <laughs> god damn. Bro, that's crazy. You literally walk there just to do cardio and then walk. <laughs> oh my god. That's okay. That's insane. Because the fucking cardio is <laughs> yeah. <done. laughs> But it just shows like like his character. Like he, he, yeah. he moved here from, where is he from again? New York. <laughs> Come on, bro. No, Dorian, oh, not you. No. Not <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to go in on. I was like, New York, bro, you know, <laughs> Croatia. But yeah, Croatia. He yeah. moved here and like he had a goal and he like said it to himself. Like he did his athlete sponsorship like organically. He was working hard. 
yeah. he didn't ask for it. He provided value to Alphalete. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And like seeing everyone's stories unfold, I was like, wow. And watching Joe, like he almost wanted to move back home because like stuff wasn't working out, but he trusted himself. Mm. And then eventually landed with Young LA and built a name for himself. It's like watching from the outside, it's mm -hmm. like crazy. Like I, most of you people like don't know what he's gone through. Like, Sleeping in the same room. Yeah, yeah. Have we four guys share one shower that was never. <laughs> <laughs> we were bathing in like. It's fucking nasty, bro. Disgusting. Like, so nasty. That's all you have to say is four dudes in one shower. Yeah, like, that's, all, that's all you got to say. Bro, I was, yeah. wearing, I was ordering clothes from Amazon. Like, I was getting Dorian's hand me downs. Like, yeah. We had no closet. Our clothes were on the ground. Yeah. But think about like everyone's story. Like, no one begged, like, a company. Cause, like, as I'm listening, I'm like, y'all didn't go and, like, just fucking beg. Like, yeah. oh, like, you know, I mean, even so, even back then, you guys, you guys had value, uh, value to offer, but it wasn't like what I need to do, what I need to do, X, Y, and Z. It's like, no, I'm gonna keep working on my craft and then show these companies Bro, exactly. that I have value. I was just, I was just a guy shooting everybody. Yeah. You know, like, then people knew that. And eventually someone was going to grab me and be like, hey, yeah. we need you. Mm -hmm. Like, you're, yeah, yeah. You're, we need, we want you to be our yeah. guy. Yeah. And that's what happened in Young LA. And it was so organic, yeah. so fucking organic. That's why. I'm just so grateful to be part of the team now. Now it's yeah. like family, bro. Because he's just a tat on me. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, these, these people will be like, "Oh, saw me, saw me, saw me." It's like, okay, like why? Well, why? I mean, just because I love you guys. Like, it's yeah. just like, man, that there's no. <laughs> bro, some kid DM me has no value, bro. bro. Some like, kid DM me the other day, and it's okay. Wait, <laughs> go, 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 go. That's yeah. insane. My bad. I didn't mean to say that. Your love does have value, bro. What I'm saying is like, I love GBT. Yeah, like fuck you, bro. <laughs> I don't care. No, it's like it's just, value. It's like how are you gonna help us like push forward? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some kid DM me. He's like, "Hey, bro, check out my page. I have 165,000 followers. Love the brand. I'm always repping it. Like, let me know what I have to do." It's just like I yeah that I get some of those too. I'm just like I don't. know. It's just like what? Like, yeah. Oh, you don't. Hundred six, dude. Come on, come to the like. Yeah. We're gonna fly you to LA tomorrow. Like, <laughs> what? Like, what are we supposed to do with that information? Like, all right, yeah. congrats, bro. Like. But yeah, and what? the thing is, like, I've had DMs too from like people with more like a more of a following than me, like yeah. 10, 20k. They're like, how did how did you get on? I'm like, like I only just have, you only have five k. I'm like, it's not about the number. It just yeah, bro, it's not about. Let the it number. happen organically. Keep creating your value, and then you're gonna have options. You're yeah, gonna be like, yeah. oh shit, bro, this company wants me, that company wants me, this company wants me, mm. and then you get to decide because yeah. you're so fucking valuable that everyone wants you. That's where you gotta yeah. do it. Cause I've been in that position. Like I, like I, I, I am an influencer, and like I remember, like whenever I was coming up, um, I would just, I'm like, just become somebody, like do yeah. something and make yourself great, and then like those companies are gonna then turn around. Did you always think you'd be somebody? When you were younger. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, bro. I not that, that mindset. I, not that I thought I'd be somebody. I just I knew I had a bigger purpose. Yeah. And I'm like, eventually, like I know something's gonna happen. Cause yeah. There's no way that I'm just destined to just work, like live this normal. I don't want to say normal life, but I just felt, I always felt I I had a bigger purpose in life and I was supposed to leave an impact or do something yeah. impactful. Yeah, it was more so that. It's like, I don't think I'm like a celebrity or anything like that. No, I just no. felt like I was going to be the best at whatever I chose to do because mm -hmm. I put in a lot of work. Yeah. So like, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck it's going to be, yeah, but it's going to be something like, I'm just going to work. I'm going to continue yeah. to work. Like, I know I'm just not going to. I'm not going to go into the room feeling that I'm outworked. If I really want yeah. something, I feel like I'll do anything to make it happen. 100%, bro. So, like, I always knew, like, once I figure whatever the fuck it was out, yeah. like, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I used to always see the number 112, like, everywhere, bro. Like, microwaves, fucking addresses. Like, I'd just be, like, at a red light and look to my side. I'm like, no way. Like, license plate. Yeah. So, one day I looked it up. I'm like, like, what does this mean? And I read this thing. It was, like, a new beginning. Uh -huh. And that shit like ate me alive. Mm. Really? Because then I couldn't, I couldn't wrap my head around what it could be, like new beginning, new beginning, new beginning, and then that was it. Tex yeah. I moved to Texas, whole new life. Yeah. And then I stopped seeing it. Damn. Crazy, bro. That's pretty hard. I didn't know about that. Oh, it's, it's like a personal thing. I don't no. know. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, I, I know you. And crazy. I, I got, you and I had that one talk where it was just you mean the old house, yeah. the second house, and you, you, a part of you felt like what you were doing here felt like you were back in your 99 to five. Mm -hmm. Like you kind of lost like a little bit of yourself and you wanted to get it back. How does it feel in the new year where we moved to a new house? Like, do you feel a new spark? Mm -hmm. 100%. It's like, I just feel like I, now I have total control over my life and I'm just in a place that I was seeking. Mm. I feel like I'm finally in that place. 
And now it's like, now what do I do? Now mm-hmm. I feel like now I could really have, now I could really do stuff for myself, you know, because I'm very happy with my job right now. And uh, it was just hard, bro. Like you, you saw me, like you saw yeah. the whole journey. Like it, it was just hard never feeling secure, like never knowing like, yo, is this going to work out? Like, mm-hmm. am I, mm-hmm. like, what is my purpose here? I was trying to find my purpose and I feel like I finally found it with Young LA. But uh, it was hard, bro. But yeah. 2023, bro. 2023. Going crazy house. this year. Yeah. That's dope, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm just, I'm, now I'm just thinking like, because like, I remember like when I first started out, like I had those same mm-hmm. same uh, worries. I'm like, No fuck, security, man. bro. Yeah. Like, it's just like, I don't scary. know. Like, yeah. I'm not sure where this shit coming <laughs> yeah. next. Like, I, like you you sit and you're like, I'm not sure like how I'm going to eat like next month. Like it's not, it's not guaranteed bro. or anything like that. So. <laughs> it's fucking scary. Did, did yeah. you think GBT was to, like going to be at this level? whenever like you first started do you think it was going to be like yeah. just like a side like brand you have or did you th- think it's going to be like at this caliber of like so it's evolved from like so there was like there was like gb it used to be called gbt merch right yeah so there was like there's this thing where it's like mostly it's just like quick flips it's mm-hmm. just like all right like you like know, 100 t's and yeah i'm making out. i'm making quick flips yeah. off of just like who i am um and then like I was like, okay, let's push it a little bit more. Like, let's let's like actually add more. Cause like, I could see that there was like a high demand for it. Mm-hmm. Cause I would sell in like two minutes. Yeah. So I'm like, I need to push it more. Um, it didn't happen until towards the end of twenty or no, 2020 was like a like an explosion kind mm-hmm. of. Cause like the pandemic, people mm-hmm. were at home ordering shit. Yeah. And I was like, okay, maybe I should like really think about making this into something. Uh, so 2021 started, and that's when I started thinking more of like a like uh, approach of like I want growth and like I want mm-hmm. to expand and become like an actual clothing brand. Yeah. And then um, I remember specifically having a long ass meeting with Dion, uh, and we were just talking about. I'm like, I want to be able to do X, Y, and Z, and by the end of the year, we should be doing X, like uh, X amount, like yeah. during a yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. And then, like when it came out of my mouth, I was like. <laughs> Holy shit! Like that's <laughs> like you're at this level now. Yeah, I'm like, Whoa. I'm like, damn, that's some bullshit. It's, it's, yeah. it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of money. But then at the same time, I'm like, I mean, I'm looking at this shit. It's like kind of possible, like if we do mm-hmm. it right. Yeah. So like, once I said it, I think it normalizes in my head to where like, okay, like, what do I need to do to make that happen? That's the type of person I am. Like, yeah. once I mm-hmm. verbalize it, to yeah. me, it's gonna happen because I'm like, I'm gonna make sure that it happens. If that makes sense. Fuck so, yeah, bro. Yeah, it it. I think like as like stuff started building, the expectations and like the new expectations standard. change. Yeah, it's like a new, a new standard. standard. So yeah, so it's just like yeah, long like long, 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 long. <laughs> yeah. It's like you. I feel like even now, like I'm thinking about the stuff that we can be doing, yeah. and I'm like, oh, oh you're yeah, expand- oh, like nothing's gonna, crazy anymore. Yeah, nothing's like really like, nothing's crazy. out of reach. Yeah, and like, when we went to the LA trip and we were talking about all the things that we can do, it's like we can do anything. Yeah, you get yeah. that idea. You're like, all right. Let's do it. Like, what? Do we, what's the first step? What do we gotta yeah, do to, exactly. to get to that point? Like, yeah. nothing seems nothing seems out of like out of reach anymore. Yeah, because like, fucking run it. Let's let's go here. Let's go there. Let's drop this. Let's do this amount. Yeah, like yeah. it's just to me. Like once you say something, it's like all right, make it happen. You gotta like, do it. Yeah. I just start. Mm-hmm. I'm always like the type of person to think about how are we gonna make this happen. Yeah. Like my goal. Like so last year, like when I look at like when we did this podcast, mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, bro. Like we. We're shitting on what we used to do back then. Bro, not even close. Yeah. So then uh-huh. it's just like now looking at this podcast, like I'm already thinking, I'm like, I'm gonna look back at this shit and like be like, yeah, I'm gonna laugh at like what we were doing yeah. back then too. So well, next time we'll probably be on your podcast you talk about. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We spoke the before. I think uh you guys have a something that works. Yeah, so we're doing like a, um we're doing like a big, big ass shift as a company mm-hmm. this year. Um just like with everything yeah. um we're gonna go through like a maturation process so um with that comes like a lot of different divisions that mm-hmm. we want to introduce with just the branding and uh having a podcast is gonna be one of them yeah, so, yeah. Right. It, it, I, i'm at the point where it's like how do i live without podcasting like i love sitting down and just talking every week yeah you know it's and the, the amount of people that we meet for sure you know what i'm saying the amount of people in and out of your gym it's like you podcast like you look you podcast every day like when you meet people at the gym that's what i'm saying like that, you do. Like, bro yeah. we used to we used to come home and talk and we're like Bro, this is let's fucking record this shit. Like, yeah, and, th- and that's that's how this happened. But I think your pod's gonna be crazy because just all your athletes, you know, yeah. all the people that visit Houston, yeah, like, it's just because you, you've been on a lot of podcasts. Yeah, I've been on a decent amount. Yeah, yeah. but I love like podcasts is like, my favorite thing yeah. to listen to. Like, if I'm me too. like, yeah. I don't listen to music. Like mm-hmm. people around me, they're like, this guy's a psychopath. So all, <laughs> all I do is listen to people talk all day. Yeah. Like I just listen to podcasts. So 
um, with like with our the goal of our podcast is to give people like a more inside approach or mm-hmm. inside uh, scoop as like what's going on with, yeah. with better, but also just like we want to start. I like talking about like other shit, like current like, events and shit. Yeah, current yeah. events and stuff like Bro, that. Throwback to the GM podcast. Though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you know all my drive here from North Carolina? It's a 16 hour drive. I listened to the whole entire GM podcast. For real? Oh my God. That's fucking. It was so entertaining. Francis yeah. actually put me on that. Really? Like, you know, Russ has a podcast. I'm like, no. I was like, Russ Shawley. Who was in it? Russ Shawley. It was, it was me, Shawley, uh, my, my best friend, Josh. Josh. And then yeah. um, Matt. Matt. Uh, yeah. Cherokar. Like oh, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, Matt. Yeah. So, like, that was so. En- that was probably what one a of my fucking full circle moment. That's yeah, insane. Yeah. Like, the GM podcast <laughs> was like, it was just like so much energy it was like a group chat it was a group chat yeah it was literally so the it felt like a group chat <laughs> yeah out loud just out loud, out loud yeah. yeah yeah so like the original name was gonna be like the group chat but it was already taken bro that's so, a fire name <laughs> yeah. group chat. Oh, so we had to damn. settle on the Fuck. group message which uh, is like which is like I mean. I yeah it says the gm <laughs> podcast but oh that's i was like what the fuck does that yeah for? but we would we would just hop on and talk shit about anything we would just talk shit about like current events yeah. um music debates like fashion all that yeah. we didn't really talk much about fitness I don't think. no so is yeah. better the better podcast gonna be more in line of like yeah just so behind the scenes or no nah, i mean like we're gonna have episodes where we have behind the scenes like where we talk to like mm-hmm. maybe our designer we talk to duhan we mm-hmm. talk about maybe to some of our athletes yeah. as well people like, like that like, story yeah, yeah. it yeah. doesn't always need to be a big name that's, yeah, that's yeah. what I've, no. I've and i i just enjoy the conversation you know for sure saying? yeah so. so it's gonna be more so just like i want to know like people's I want to know like BTS, BTS. Like mm-hmm. I'm gonna ask like you know questions when like when the cameras are off. Yeah, 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 it's like when the cameras off. Like what do we really talk about? Cause so like I don't want to have people on the podcast that are scared to talk about that type of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then also just like we we know a lot of people's stories. Yeah. I want to get to know like how like what people's morals are. Yeah. Right. No, so the, like the person. Yeah, like yeah. the person, the individual. So it's like I want to ask. For example, like I would, I want to ask Heidi, like, what do you think about fucking Kim Kardashian dating Pete Davidson? Like, what's your, <laughs> what's your take on like that whole situation where like you supposedly date down? You know, like yeah. what, I want to know like no, your yeah, thoughts on that. stuff like that. Yeah, so like that's, yeah. that's really good. Yeah, so we're gonna lean more into that direction. Um, I it's funny because I always say this, I don't, I don't like talking fitness, bro. Like, I don't, I don't, I think it's because I've been in the game for yeah. so yeah. long. I've heard like every question mm-hmm. and like have like pretty much generic automated answers. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't like. I don't. I don't really. I don't really that's talk so about like. Tr- that's out. so true. Like, that's really so true. Yeah. At this point in in the fitness space, like everyone knows, like. I know everyone's goes. fucking story inside and out. Like, yeah. Like. Work out. Someone like Sebum, right? Yeah. Sebum mm-hmm. hops on someone's pod tomorrow. And like they start talking, I'm like, oh, I fucking heard this already. You already yeah. know. Yeah, you already yeah. know they're gonna say. And exactly, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to be on that. Like, if we have, if we have like a Christian on. I'm gonna be asking him questions that he's probably never been asked before. Exactly. Yeah. Because that's what people want to hear. Yeah. Because I'm not, I'm not gonna be like, oh, how did you start? Like, mm. you've heard that story. Yeah. If you if you follow Christian, you probably heard that story like yeah. a million times. You're on Max's pod, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah, yeah. fucking great. He's yeah. Great, Max. He's Max great. Podcast is good. Great host. Great podcast, fucking great host. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. He he just uh, I'm not gonna leak it. He just hit up one of my friends <laughs> to do the pod. Oh, I was like in LA. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, might just, I did just <laughs> leak it. Right? <laughs> you just leaked it. But yeah, it's fucking. Leaked. I was like, I was like, are you serious? Because I'm probably fucking love Max's pod. Like, his, his podcast is good. I I need to actually start watching. I've never I've never watched. Did you Dude, watch your own episode? Good. Fuck no. And, <laughs> and the production is great. Like yeah. Oz kills it with the production. Yeah, it's like you enjoyable listen, watch. Do you listen back to your podcast at all? We haven't uh, played on TV. A few of them, yeah. A few of them, I will. Really? Yeah. I fucking hate listening to my voice, bro. I don't watch my YouTube's back. My YouTube. Yeah, I never. Shout out to Duhon. I never <laughs> ever watch. I'll go YouTube. back and watch a part, but like I can't. I'm like, oh, I just cringe Hell when I hear not. myself I'm talking. Like, like, yeah. I should have said. I'm that like, why am I so fucking? What the fuck is that? <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? How we, how we good? How, how we good? How we good? <laughs> how we good? <laughs> what? Dude, I'm fucking nice, bro. I swear to God. D five. Every pot I get on the dot. I want to talk about something I've been struggling with. Not struggling, but do you hate the fact that our? I don't want to say reputation. But like we have to look at numbers and it kind of like our views, our likes. Mm-hmm. Do, do you feel like looking at that plays an effect like on your mental and like how shit I got to pick it up or I'm not I'm falling off or I'm not doing good or I got to work harder because like this pod, for instance, right? Uh-huh. I love this pod, mm-hmm. right? I'm fucking we still Elliot is with me. We're still cranking them out. Mm-hmm. The views went down, yeah. right? It's, mm-hmm. it's there. It's clear as day. Everyone can see it. Mm-hmm. But I'm still here. I'm still grinding them out, mm-hmm. right? And it's just like I'm struggling with 
feeling like I got to do more because the numbers are going down. Yeah. But like, you, I'm still doing the same shit. Like I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's, do you, yeah. do you find yourself comparing yourself to some of your friends or people that you hang around at? Not comparing. It's just like, I just, I've worked so fucking hard, bro. Yeah. And yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? I just, I like want to see everything grow. I want to see this pod grow. I want to see my YouTube grow. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out what the fuck, like, how do you make it grow? Cause I'm doing what I do. Yeah. Like, I'm doing what I love to do. It's just like, fuck. Yeah, man. I was literally just having this conversation with uh, my boy, Josh. Um, yeah. It's just you gotta fall in love with the it's process, bro. Tough, bro. Like, yeah, dude, it's, I, I am. I'm fucking I here. Know, I know. Like, I, I know you're here, but it's like so. Yes, to, to answer your question, yeah. I do. Sometimes I do find myself struggling. I think like not so much anymore, but definitely mm-hmm. like I'll look at something. Like I'll look at like an IG post. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, I know my averages. I know like I'm mm-hmm. supposed to be averaging maybe like 25, 30k uh, likes a, a post, yeah. right? And then like a post will do maybe like. Let's say like a bad post has like 10k, right? Yeah. That, I mean, that sounds so stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, but likes. a post has 10k. I'm like, I'm like, damn, I'm not posting for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I'm, I'm gonna hold off for a week or some shit like that, or wait until I get like a dope ass picture or like yeah. it looks super lean or whatever. But I don't. I, I kind of stopped looking at it like that because I'm like, shit comes in ebbs and flows, bro. Yeah. Like it, I feel like the people that it's just like constantly up for them, that shit's like an outlier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, people like David Lay, David could disappear for like six months and he then does. come back yeah. and then just drop a pick. Million that's likes. that's the way I feel. Like, I feel likes. like I love the value I provide. Like, I love the, yeah. what we talk about on the pod, my YouTube videos. I, I, I love making them. Yeah. And it's just like, I want to reach more people. Like, I yeah, want yeah, people yeah. to hear and this pod. Point. I want people to. And it's just, it's just a struggle trying to yeah. figure out what do we got to do differently to bring in a new audience to make people hear what I got to say. What I, I think I think that also comes with just kind of studying your content a little bit. Like, mm-hmm. for example, oh, the perfect example, actually. So, like, my vlogs on YouTube, right? I think we probably average, like, t- anywhere from, like, 20, depending on the season, 20 mm-hmm. to, like, 30,000 uh, views, right? Um, we re- Duhan sat me down, which I kind of, like, which we knew going into last year, but Duhan sat me down. Sat and me we did down. Like a, <laughs> He's like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> we did, like, an analytical, break, uh, an a- analytical breakdown of my YouTube channel, what works, what hasn't worked. And he's like, bro, these commercial gym videos, they go dummy. Like we average they like, do. yeah, they we do. average like a hundred thousand to like 500. Yeah. 500, I see the dumb. I'm like, fuck. I gotta, yeah. I gotta see this. So like 500,000 views. And like, that's like absurd. Right. So it's just like, that's not my favorite type of video to yeah. do, yeah. you know, but if it's going to bring people into the door, all right, cool. We're going to do that. And then we're going to start like yeah. still hitting them over with the vlogs and stuff like that. But it's like, I might just be that motherfucker doing commercial gym videos. Yeah. And it's like, if you, if, if you tailor like your content to the views and likes, you might end up start making content. That That's you the thing. I want to stay true to myself, but yeah. I also want to grow. Yeah, but like, also too. You, I mean, you know the social media yeah. game. No, no, like, no. Dude, it, I went to LA. I went to LA this last weekend. Fucking twenty three hundred likes on my photos. Everything was going crazy. My story views yeah, were like yeah. crazy. Like. And then I come back and it goes back to normal. But that's also that's also because you also have to think about um like uh your followers too. When I was in Japan, my stories were going dummy. Oh. It's dumb. but that's but it's like to me it's traveling. like you gotta travel more. Yeah, you gotta I, travel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just it's because you're traveling. Whenever we went to LA when I was doing the LA vlogs, like I was getting so dummy. many engage like so much engagement on like all the, the recap reels that we did for the day. Yeah. yeah. Even for like the drops when I post like like the teaser videos and stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just like well, whatever we're doing that's like yeah. different from like our norm. I feel like that's what really pops yeah. off. Too. Yeah. And like, I, lo- I loved, like, I, I was in LA. I loved it. I love being out there doing all this different shit, like the engagement going up. It, yeah. it, it's, it makes me want to create even more. It makes me want to travel. It's, and it's also an energy thing. You know, it's, you know, it's interesting too. Like some days I just wake up hyper. And oh, like, for sure. Yeah. yeah and like, I, I'm just posting like 100 miles per hour. Yeah, like, we yeah. ever see me posting? It in your car. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just crazy. I remember yeah, I pulled so. up to the gym one day. I just see Russ in the front. Like, <laughs> Singing in his car, I'm like, man. Because, like, <laughs> think about it, though. Because, But those those days, the views are, like, good. Because I'm, like, it's, like, almost like people could tell, like, you can tell it the instead of up. just, like, posting in a routine. Bro, mm-hmm. it's, it's, yeah. You're, that's the thing with, with us, how we got into social media now. This is, yeah. our, this is our life. Yeah, yeah. If you're having a bad day, it, it reflects on your social yeah. media. Mm-hmm. It reflects on your followers. They're they're following you for a reason. They want to see, see some shit. They yeah. want to see you like doing something. If it's like yeah. a forced post versus like an authentic post. Like, exactly. Yeah. Like, like for example, like to close out 2022, I was just not feeling it. I would, I would go like days without posting on my story and shit. And people hit me up. I was like, yo, I could tell like- in your <laughs> Are you content. good, bro? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yo, are you good? I could tell like in your YouTube videos, your energy yeah. is low, da, da, da. And like people can see that shit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. but definitely like traveling, definitely like- yeah, it causes people to be more engaged because they're like yeah. they want to see what you're doing, they want to see what you're up to. Yeah, it's tough. Like I'm not saying numbers are everything, but 
uh, obviously it does get to you. Like, nah, you think, you think about it, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's like, a, if it's your job, it's a reflection. Too. Yeah, it's my yeah, job. It's your exactly. job. Exactly. It's a like, also, too, like, people, everyone can see that shit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but now you can hide it. But then if you hide it, it's like, why are you hiding it? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Joe, that sucks. <laughs> That's that's the thing I'm that someone commented. Posted I'm, shit yesterday. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm gonna help you out. <laughs> yeah, because it's like it's like you post some shit and like people people know your people know like other people know your averages, right? So they'll be like, yeah. hey, damn, that shit ain't. <laughs> and they know you're way. checking. Bro. Yeah, come on. It's bro, like you post damn, a picture. What are you doing? You fucking checking it, checking it, yeah, checking it. Yeah, yeah. Like even people that don't even like the comments, you know they're looking at it. They see everything. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I've got I've gotten better at just posting and just kind of and let it go. Of, yeah. Because yeah. like now. I've gotten to a point where I just I don't I don't care like if if I feel like posting something. That, really that's what I'm saying. Like I'm yeah. I'm so happy where I'm at. Like, I love what I'm creating. I love doing the YouTube videos and whatever they do, they do. Yeah, you know. But what I, I was saying before is I just I want people to to hear this podcast. You know what I'm saying? I want I people you. to. Because you know this I want to podcast reach more provides a lot of value. Like yeah. you said, yeah. You how many how many subs do we have here? Four. Four. Okay. Which is but like sick. Like yeah. that's, that's insane. That's insane, that's insane. in yeah. itself. Like, but it, and and rel like relatively compared to other podcasts like not popping mm -hmm. but the value it has is like yeah that's what i'm insane. saying like the value yeah. is so good i just want people to hear this mm -hmm. yeah but that's why we're just gonna stay consistent you know yeah. i would just focus on that one person that that's gonna like it's gonna because like just really think about it it's one damn <laughs> one person oh. can listen to this podcast and like it will do everything for them bro that's all i need yeah. like mm -hmm. when the kid when i get a dm you saw the dm the other day right Kid reposted on a story. He was like, "This podcast literally changed my life." He put on a story. He was like, "This podcast literally changed my life. Changed yeah. my perspective, how I look at things. Changed like my energy." All that's I need to see is that, feeling. and I'm like, "All right, yeah, this, this, we're fucking doing something. Like, yeah, we're doing something." Feeling. The views are down, but guess what? The value's still there. We're yeah. still affecting people. I'm still, I'm still making people do something in their own lives to like better themselves. Yeah, which, is, which that's everything. Yeah, because so just it's refreshing. Yeah, just think about the podcast that or content that y'all consume that makes you feel a certain type mm -hmm. of way. Mm -hmm. Like it, like you're doing that to someone else, bro. Yeah, so I watch the video. It just sets the tone for my fucking day out. Yeah, like early. I watch a YouTube video in the morning. I'm like, let's fucking go. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like Jesse, that's, Jesse always gets me hyped just because seeing his, and his fucking energy and just like stay relentless. I know yeah. it sounds corny, says, but like, fuck yeah, like, yeah, let's yeah, yeah. Fucking do this. Let's go mm -hmm. seize the day. Let's go make this video. And I don't know, energy, bro. Yeah, so I can tell. When, I can tell when someone yeah. gives you like a like a compliment like that, like because your energy that day is like, gets me going, bro. Dude, <laughs> some kid to, like, or not some kid. This guy Nate at the gym. He's a friend from the gym. He put he left. I went. I was outside on the phone. I had a phone call. Come back inside. There's a note. He left a note on my uh, damn on my laptop. I think <clears> I would have cried. Lucky. It, I forgot the exact <laughs> words, but it was just like keep pushing LT, uh, keep inspiring others, like keep. Yeah, like something I, like that. I definitely would have cried. I came into that. You I, I looked. Cried. I looked down. I was like, "Wow!" Like that was all I needed yeah. for the day. I was all stressed out from the shoot. We got in trouble today for shooting upstairs, and I was just <laughs> all stressed out. I was like, "Fuck!" Like to me, I was having a bad day. Yeah, yeah. And then it was that fucking note. I was like, "Yeah." It's like let's go. That's 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 dope as fuck. Yeah. So leave a leave a note in people's. Leave a note. I'm gonna start leaving, <laughs> I'm gonna start leaving notes at the change gym. someone's day, bro. Just <laughs> walk around with a sticky pad. All right, we're gonna hop on. You know this already. We're gonna yeah, hop yeah. on live. Oh shit! I got the title. How was the shoot today? It was great. Yeah, it was good. Now, you we guys did. posting like barely posting. It was like little. You weren't even showing no, anything. No, because like the, the tomorrow's like the real tomorrow's big the shoot. big, oh, okay. big yeah. shoot. Today was just like more so just like a like a real day and then real like, day. Um, the big content day is tomorrow, yeah, which I'm very fun. excited about. I'm, I'm actually super excited about that. It's gonna be I'm a long like, day, but it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, it's gonna be now, your stories were like so like half a shirt this is like, <laughs> exactly Play, playboy like, what Carly are they doing bro playboy Car we want people like you're at that pure space though the one we use right was that pure space i feel like that was pure space no that was that was the first time at this studio we just oh, yeah. went to yeah bro, everyone uses the same pure space that's why we so want to go funny. somewhere else we drove 45 minutes for this studio yeah, yeah. this one's so. gonna be fun because I, I haven't seen anyone in our space do it before so yeah yeah be they're all like recycled all the pure yeah spaces. pure space pure, there's only so many there's so many yeah and they're all fucking downtown yeah you gonna have to start flying out and shit to go do do, uh, do some other shit. Yeah. So. I'm actually flying to LA next week. Me and Elliot, uh, we're doing like an NBA tunnel. Oh, that's gonna be dope. Young LA shoot. They, they got like backdrop, like Young LA backdrop. And oh, shit. That's, that's pretty fucking dope. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the content game is getting like to a point where you I have know. to do some wild shit. You gotta shit step out like, wild, yeah. crazy stuff now. I have a I have an idea for the next drop, but I'm gonna have to like yeah. don't, don't, don't leave. Even it. these yeah, kids are getting so good at like cap cut. They're just making cap iPhone cut, videos bro, and they're fucking insane. fire. fire and you're like, damn, like I gotta keep up with that. Yeah. Cap yo. Cut templates. Yo, yo, yo. I'm gonna get someone new in here. 
Let's Good see platform. some new names. What's up, B? E? <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Jesus. Let's go. Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. What's up, Scriv? Put me in, coach. <laughs> <laughs> When's Russ competing in bodybuilding? In what class? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait. Nah. What up, dude? Hey, what's up? What's up, dude? What's your name? Where, where you at? Uh, I'm Aaron, and I'm from LA. That's crazy. Hey. Oh, shit. This is Aaron. My name's also Aaron. He's not from LA. <laughs> what? You got a do-rag on? Yo, we got... You know Russell? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, man. Hold on. Are you like... See the waves. Wait, you got a do... Why you got a do-we on? Um, I'm barely starting to get waves. Get a wave check? Yeah, yeah. What's going check. on here? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> wave check. First wave check. I'm like, what the hell? Watch it be shit. insane. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Holy shit, no man! Way. <laughs> gotta start somewhere, bro. Insane, yeah, man. Holy shit. Uh, Looks like me, honestly. <laughs> 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 like me. Alright, yeah, you got you got a question for us? We're just playing. Yeah, um so when you were first starting off, uh like lifting, mm -hmm. how did you get like size? Size? Oh. Yeah. So like, uh, when you first start out, like what's the best Yeah, I would say I would just say like I think what I see what's wrong with a lot of these younger lifters is like I never focused on cutting. Like a lot of these, I talked to teen lifters. They're like, "Oh, like I'm on a cut." I'm like, "For what?" Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like what are you cutting? yeah, like what are you cutting for? I would say, how old are you right now? I'm currently twenty. Twenty? Yeah, I mean you're still young. I would say, bro, just eat. You gotta force feed. <laughs> you gotta force feed yourself and lift hard, obviously. But the biggest thing is just getting a shit ton of calories in. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, if you're not going to sleep like uncomfortable, you're probably doing something wrong. Damn. yeah because i remember like when i was in college like when i left home and i was like in college and i was uh, working out that's why i made like a huge huge jump um i would go to sleep with like literally like i almost felt like i was gonna throw up because i was so fucking full but i gained like 10 to 15 pounds like in a semester yeah dining hall yeah so just i think the 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 best thing to think about is like if i'm un if i'm not uncomfortable i'm doing something wrong like literally throughout the day eat yeah, eat, 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 eat. All right, Aaron, appreciate you, bro. Good luck with the waves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Yeah, I've never seen. Uh, I've never seen a wave check I've on this. On this it's podcast. got me day one. Like <laughs> <laughs> loading wave check. That's, that's, that's gonna be a new thing. That's gonna be a new thing. Everyone's gonna be showing up the waves when they're doing. Some guy likes a normal hair, like wave check. I thought he was what? about to be like. I thought he was about to have like a black man's haircut. That's what bro. I thought too, but. I was like, you don't need a, you don't need a Dewey for that one, bro. Hey, shout right. out, shout out, Aaron from LA. He's yeah. trying, he's trying. Wave, it, it, early stage, bro. It's probably week one. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, bro. All right, That's so, funny. oh shit, you put D and D on. We already asked you, what do you want your legacy to be? We're gonna ask Aaron first. So, Oof. what do you want your legacy to be? What does leaving a legacy mean to you? So for me, uh, like I said, like I do a lot of different things. Yeah. Um, right now. I feel at, I'm at the point of my nursing career where I've, I feel very confident in my skills mm -hmm. and knowing every day that I am most likely some people's last, like the last thing they see is me taking care of them. Fuck bro. That's, a, that's, and, that's crazy. Ooh, and shit. having families come up to me and be like, thank you so much. Like mm -hmm. we, my, 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 my mom, my dad, my brother or whoever it is like, he went peacefully because of you mm -hmm. and like we can't thank you enough like i've had people come up back up to the icu and like come up to me and like just give me a hug and like yeah. wow like this is like every day i do this like every day yeah and it doesn't get old so i feel like i'm leaving a legacy in that way but i also do want to inspire others like hey like your life doesn't have to revolve around like just work you know like you have other purposes like even though like nursing is very fulfilling like for me, I thought I had another purpose and is to also create, inspire people who who work. Like you could still do the things you love. Yeah. You can still do, you can still like, I have some people tell me like, I can't make it to the gym because of like my work. And like, like yeah. you can, you can. I yeah, juggle yeah. like five things at once and like, 
just ha- giving that energy into the world is, I feel like, leaving the yeah. legacy. No, that's dope. Damn. Shit, man. Fucking <laughs> mic drop. Holy yeah, fuck. that was, yeah, goddamn. That was- <laughs> it's honestly cool because you're like, I want to say the opposite of me, but you actually promote, like, you love your job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like the guy who fucking hates his job, yeah. quit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, but it's dope that there's two spectrums. It's like, you're so passionate about nursing. Mm-hmm. You know, like your your job, like you feel fulfilled, like you care. love what you do. Yeah, and that's awesome. Like I was the opposite. Opposite. It was like I hate what I do. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna fucking move. <laughs> yeah. like, but it's cool that you're like a different. What, was, what do you want to call it? Different, like mindset. Different, or, yeah, yeah. Like Similar, you could love your job. You could be passionate about your job, and then you could also chase your passion, and then you could find that balance and find live, that live balance. A, really, f- that like balance. fulfilled life of like doing what you love and what you're passionate about and together yeah that's awesome bro that's Thanks. sick russ yeah, was, what was, is your uh yeah was, that was, that was, i don't even feel like sharing my shit no more <laughs> man goddamn i want to ask you because you already said on the first pod yeah, we asked yeah. you that question what is your i want to say six month goal where do you want gbt to be where do you want you your, yourself personally to be in six months six month goal i feel like it's gbt well, it's not going to be called GBT anymore. That, that it's point. another Playboy card. Oh, shit. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. It's oh, another fuck. leak. Yeah. yeah so it wouldn't, it wouldn't be called that at that point, I would imagine. Um, and uh, I just want to transition. Like, if I get to the halfway point of next year or mm-hmm. this year, I just have to, I just want to be able to look at the company and be like, yo, we're, we're going to set ourselves up for the following year. So yeah. um, I don't want to say too much without saying too much. Yeah, yeah, but basically, yeah. like, I think numbers wise, like, I have the number in my head. I also don't want to say that out loud. But uh, that was like a very generic, very vague answer. I would say I want to um, empower the team more. Um, I want to be a better leader and a better boss uh, okay. for my employees. Um, so I guess what that looks like, I want to have like a better uh, company culture. Mm-hmm. So like I want I want people to see us like be seen together more often. Yeah. I yeah. guess that makes sense. Because that's what people want to be a part of, you know. Yeah. That core, that family, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, so it's it's yeah. I would say like from the outside looking it would be like that but I mean it's it there's a lot of stuff that's gonna change so yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. excited bro six yeah. months I'll check in yeah <laughs> on sure your pod I'll listen to your pod in six months yeah hopefully GBT is dead <laughs> yeah <laughs> jeez oh you saw <laughs> you saw that oh yeah you did see it yeah yeah, yeah. I wrote that down yeah fuck like Dude, that's a crazy that's, yeah damn all that talk about GBT it was like yeah it's, it's over <laughs> by the way like, yeah GBT is dead that's it that's literally like. I have like this PowerPoint. I made like this PowerPoint um, Damn. for like the team and presentation, and all that. So that's hard. Yeah, that's hard. It's hard. It was like it was like a bar that I had. I was like, it's like caps is like it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, dramatic. after all that talk, GBT's dead. <laughs> 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 but uh, I want to thank you guys for being on the pod. For for us, sure, thanks man. for coming back, for sure. Aaron. Thanks for joining. First time. First time. I'm sure people, a lot of people, can connect with your story and yeah, hopefully in the comments sure. leave some leave some comments below. If you need nursing tips, hit me up. Yeah, or if you need like medical help, yeah, <laughs> if you seek medical help, please call nine one one. But yeah, we're on Spotify. Leave a review helps out a lot. Like, comment. You know, you guys know the deal. Shout out to Elliot behind the camera, and uh, yeah, episode forty. Sure, episode man. forty. See y'all in the next one. Peace. That was fun. Forty episodes. That was a great. Dude, forty's insane. Damn, Aaron's first pod. First pod. Oh, it's your first pod? Yeah, I've just been taking photos. <laughs> the past what couple is this, 30, 30 what? This is 40, bro. 40? Yes. Damn. Oh. Here we go. Thank you. You didn't want like a monster? You know, like... Bro, I had three 3Ds. God damn. Nope. I think I'm good. No. <laughs> <laughs>